Hello and welcome back to Dishonored, Death of the Outsider. I'm James. This is part two of our bank job. So let's go in here and uh, take care of business. Now I will be re-recording re this at a later date, so please bear with me. waiting for my game capture card to get here. Easy. Now for the difficult part. I need to stay quiet. I could still wake up if I make too much noise. Cienfuegos was obsessed, and it got him killed. Kind of looks that way, don't it? Like I said before, I'm not going to pick up all the paperwork or, or grab all the loot. My job is to get you through this. Come on. I hate these cash registers. Whoever thought that up was a genius. Now there is a boardroom, a conference room, everything else like that. But like I say, we're gonna we're getting right to the heart of the matter. After I take knock these tills over. <laughs> Still need to buy upgrades. First time I ever seen a bank leave money out on its counters like that. Now she generally says uh, that should open some doors, but I guess she doesn't feel like talking right now. <laughs> Let's see, make sure we got, okay, give me that. I should be able to open some doors from here. That's what she's supposed to say. Take care of Sleeping Beauty here. We'll just go ahead and minister a little justice here. Be careful here, there are two arc pylons just through this door. Right there. The trick is here is not to be stupid.
some people ask me what makes my gaming videos different from others. Well, one, I try not to use any cuss words. Two, I stick right to the program. I, de I mean, I don't talk about everything under the sun. And thirdly, I'm talking to you, not somebody else sitting there with me. That's why. <laughs> I didn't imagine there's a few other things. Okay, just gonna knock this guard out and we can get it on. Come on, lock on. That must be the falls. It's some kind of fancy outfit. Hello. The control room can move the ball to the different places. Me, I need to find a way to move that thing. One way or another. Who's there? It's a big bad wolf, that's who. Remember Gavani? Sure you do. First Dishonored? You remember his safe combination? That's right, 287. This is one of our contracts, combination of 315. I don't know where that other dude is, I mean, uh, protector or clockwork doohickey is, so I'm going to take no chances. Nobody else would try to come through that light. Hey, wake up. I need you to let me in. Yep. Outsider's eyes. 
Then you caught me sleeping on the job. He'd make me run the shop block. <clears throat> May I have the code, please? Oh, I, uh, I need to find it. Well, at least I'm not the only one screwing up today. Check in with Chief Pena. He's in the archives running an inspection. Just, uh, don't tell him about my lapse of attention. As long as you don't tell him about my stupidity. I thought I had the damn thing. Dang it. It don't take much, man, to jump right off of there. I knew I should have turned that off when I was down there. Hope this doesn't take 20 minutes to reload. That's what I should have done in the first place. Requesting entry to the security office. Code B15D. That was easy enough. Gotta love that foresight. <laughs> Come from. 
secrets where she can see them. Need that key right behind the robot there. Come on, come on, come on. What else is she hiding? They know a way into the void. Fuego sent Isla's documents to the Royal Conservatory. I need to find out what he knew. The conservatory is my next step. I need to get out of his bank before I get killed. They won't know what's missing until it's too late. You and I were both abandoned to uncertain futures on dangerous streets and taken in by murderers. Spared your life all those years ago, but I was taught a lesson that you still haven't learned. Someone will stay with you, even in the void. Give it to me. I don't have time for this. Time repeats the same unending patterns. Four thousand years ago, this knife cut my name away, forgotten forever. You know what it's like to lose one name and live with another. We are all made by the things that are taken from us. I've seen the people you've twisted with your poisonous magic. You know what I want. You know I'm coming for you. I know more than most. I know that time is bleeding into itself around you. I know that you have felt it, and you are searching for the places where the world is broken against the void. I know that doubt is dead and you left him on a ruined ship, and you will carry that you to face me at the black center of all things. Why are you doing this? Why are you talking to me now? I'm here because you are different. The void has found you through the cracks in your broken life. And when you cut me out of it, what will remain? What will you leave behind when you walk away? What does the outsider want from me? Does it matter? Let's get out of here. Out. Oh. Is he really gone? I have the knife. I need to get back to the dreadful wheel. Felt like a plan to me. Let's get the heck out of here.
The streets should be crawling with guards by now. Nothing I can't handle. We'll get on the skiff and get out of here. Yeah, we only killed 31 people. That's so bad. Conservatory will be our next mission. That ought to be fun. Last time we were in here, we were taking on uh, Brianna Ashworth and her crowd. This time it'll be the Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order. Of course, I'm getting way tired of these 20 minute load scenes. You listening, Arcane? I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars. Water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Dow, gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the void can collect. For years, I imagined the outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him. A weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful whale burned to cinders, did the outsider laugh or just watch? Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. Good for you, Billy. I had that ship for years, and it burned away in hours. Dowd is dead, and Megan Foster died with him. One of the Islas, a painter and pharmacist, stole information about how to enter the void. His name was Cienfuegos and he was obsessed, just like the rest of them. But he went too far. Before the Eyeless killed him, he sent what he'd stolen to the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Maybe she could have helped him. He never found that out. The curator is gone, but whatever Cienfuegos sent her is still there. The Abbey of the Everyman has taken over. They've sent overseers and oracular sisters to search the place for heresy. I need to find whatever's left of the pharmacist's archive before they tear the conservatory apart. Now well, here's our new headquarters. But we'll save that for our next video. Until then, I'm James with Equestrian Magic Gaming. You have been watching Death of the Outsider. We'll see you next time. Bye.